Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 51, if it was our will, we would have sent a warner in every center of population. Next verse, Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse 52 says, that's why, do not listen to the unbelievers, but strive against them strenuously with the Quran. Your Quran is talking about jihad bil Quran. Strive and struggle against the unbelievers with the Quran. Quran is talking about doing jihad with the Quran. That means we have to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the non-Muslim. And today I think the best jihad according to me today is jihad bil Quran. Strive and struggle against the unbelievers by spreading the message of the Quran. <laughs> Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse 110, Kuntum khaira ummatan ukhridat linnas. O ye Muslims, ye are the best of people we for mankind. Allah is giving us an honor. Allah, Almighty God, is calling us Muslims as the khaira ummah, the best of people. Whenever there is honor, it is always followed up with responsibility. There is no honor without responsibility. For example, in a school, the principal has got more honor than a teacher. A teacher has got more honor than a clerk. In the same way, the principal has got more responsibility than a teacher. A teacher has got more responsibility than a clerk. There is no honor without responsibility. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran is giving an honor to the Muslim and saying, Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat linnas. O ye Muslims, ye are the best of peoples evolved for mankind. Don't you think we have a responsibility? The reply is given in the same verse. Because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in Allah. Allah is calling us the khaira ummah, the best of people, because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in Allah. If we do not enjoin what is good and if we do not forbid what is wrong, then we aren't fit to be called as khaira ummah. We aren't fit to be called as Muslims. It is farz on every Muslim that he conveys the message of Islam to those who are not aware. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 24, Kul in kana abawakum, say whether it be for fathers, wa abnaukum, or your sons, wa ikhwanukum, or your brothers, wa azwajukum, or your spouses, your wives, the husband, wa ashiratukum, or your relatives, Allah is saying in Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse number 24, what are your considerations? Are they your fathers, your sons, your brothers, your spouses, husbands, or wives, your relatives? And Allah continues, The wealth that you have amassed, the business in which you deal, the houses in which you live, Allah is asking you, what are your considerations? Are they your fathers? Are they your sons? Are they your brothers? Are they your spouses, wives and husbands? Are they your relatives? Is it the wealth you have amassed? The business in which you deal? The houses in which you live? And Allah continues. Ahabba ilaykum min Allahi wa rasulihi wa jihadin fi sabili. And if you love all these eight things more than Allah, more than his Rasul, his messenger, and more than doing jihad, striving and struggling in his way, Allah says, Fatarabbasu, wait. Hatta yati Allahu miamri. Wait until Allah brings his decision to you. Wallahu la hadrukum al-fasikin. And Allah guides not the fasik people. Allah is saying in the Quran that if you love all these eight things, your fathers, your sons, your brothers, your wives and husbands, your relatives, the wealth they have amassed, the business in which you deal, the house in which you live, if you love all these things more than Allah, his messenger, and striving and struggling in Allah's way, Allah says, wait until Allah brings his destruction to you. Wallahu la al fasikin. And Allah guides not the fasik people. Today, it is the duty of every Muslim that they should convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslims who are not aware of it.
Allah says in Surah Muhammad chapter number 47, verse number 38, Allah says, that if you do not do your job, Allah will substitute in your place another people. Summa lakinam salakum, and they will not be like you. If you do not do your job, if you turn away from the path, Allah will substitute in your place another people. And they will not be like you. It is the duty of every Muslim that he should convey the message of Islam to the others who are not aware of it. We would so beautiful things by this man Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him He taught us to love and to